If I was your A-level physics tutor and you have mocks in January, this is exactly the plan I would give you. For the first month, straight away I'm going to check if you know how to do unit manipulations and homogeneity when it comes to units. And very simply, that's basically like seeing, okay, if you have kg per meters cubed but you don't know what the formula is, will you be able to figure out what the formula is just from the units? So kg per meters cubed, that would be density. If the answer is no, you don't know that, that's what we're going to tackle first. The way to do that is to go into Cambridge International. The first two chapters in that exam board is all about unit manipulation homogeneity. I'll put up some free resources you can download on the link in my bio because it's not fair that I did it for chemistry but not you guys. Then you're going to get a book and at the very back of the book, you're going to create a formula and definition sheet. One side all for the formulas that you will go through in A-level physics, even if you don't understand it yet. And then all of the definitions that you're going to go through as well. You can do this by literally just finding out like your textbook. Usually at the very back, there's like a definitions page. Just copy paste that. Basically, you're going to use this for blurting as compared to using flashcards because a lot of the times, I don't know why, physics students don't really work well with flashcards. And since we don't have a lot of time left, topic questions are going to be our best friend here, but there is a strategy to follow. Firstly, if you haven't done it yet, do one past paper off paper one and paper two, depending on what your exam's going to be in the mocks. But do a past paper and see what topics you do well in and the topics that you don't do well in. And you can see this by either you saying it in your head and being like, oh, actually, I don't know the answer to that very easily, or by doing it and getting wrong every single time. The topics that you generally do well in, that's what you're going to do on your own and just do it as if it's a test you do the questions look at the mark scheme after make a flashcard of all of your mistakes the ones that you didn't do very well in that's the one that you're going to use youtube videos and watch youtube walkthroughs of people doing the same topic questions or the same past papers and seeing how they do it and listen to what they say because the thought process that they are saying is what you will need you want to listen to what they say and absorb what they say and think the way they think because Physics is very particular, they have a very specific way of doing critical thinking. Ideally, you do about three topics a week. I know it's quite fast. So if you don't have a lot of time in order to do three topics a week, what I would suggest is to focus on the high marking topics and that depends on each of your exam boards. But generally topics like electricity is always a high mark topic. And then of course, in the final month, doing all of the past papers that you can see. If you ran out of past papers from your exam board, do other exam boards as well. Let me know what exam board you're doing and what other exam boards you can do in order to help you further and have more practice. Any mistakes that you make, put it into a flashcard and by the end of it, you'll have a stack of just your mistakes. If you have any questions, let me know. I do have to preface, I don't tutor A-level physics anymore. I only do A-level chemistry. All the best, bye!